Today is an important video because I will be doing a lot of things because I will be revisiting websites like Higher Lower, Human Benchmark, and even the Akinator. I hate that guy. As well as some new websites like some Flash games, some download speed stuff. I don't know. It's going to be a fun one, so let's get right into it. All right, so here's Mr. Akinator. But I think the last time I played, I'm pretty sure he ultimately guessed me. He probably took something like 50 tries. So I'd say it's a win. Maybe I got a bit more popular if he gets me in less than 50. So that's the goal of today. Actually, a way that I always gauge how popular I am online is I go to Famous Birthdays and I look myself up. So let's see where I am right now. All right, so according to Famous Birthdays, I am the 1200th most popular human, which uh, is probably a, a pretty big fall from grace. I think I was like 600 at one point, so I guess I'm falling off. So if you guys are chilling, go to Sambucha and just spam boost. And maybe I could be like top 10. Who's even number one right now? Get me to the top 10. If you're watching this, just pull up a separate tab and just go to famousbirthdays.com, type in Sambucha, and then boost me. Imagine how funny it would be. It's just like Kylie Jenner, Justin Bieber, Sambucha, Mr. Beast, Olivia Rodrigo. All right, anyways, that's not why we're here, though. We're here to play Akinator. So let's go. We're trying to beat this in 50. And let me know if you're able to beat this as well in less than what I get. All right, so is your character real? Yes, I am real. I feel like I made that joke last time I did the video. Is your character a famous YouTuber? Yes, I don't know about famous. That's a very nice adjective. Does your character wear jean shorts? Is your character black? No. Does your character have a gaming channel? One would say, others may not, but I'll say yes. I think I am still categorized as a gaming. Do, do I do 24 hour challenges? No, I don't. Am I from Twitch? People probably don't know, so I'm going to go ahead and just put myself in the minds of the people who are playing this and say don't know. Does your character play the role of a villain? Do you know, do you guys think kitchen? I'm poor mustache good is or bad? To be Mexico, like when you, right? when you Which listen race to me speak, better? are you like, These oh, that's a good person or a bad person? I would say no, I'm not a villain. Am I normally in a chair? Yes. I feel like they're getting to it. Do I wear a hat all the time? Yes. Do I do YouTube videos with friends? No, I don't have any friends. Known for making YouTube shorts. Yes, although I'm, I'm, you're watching a long video. Oh my gosh. What was that, 25 and they were able to get me? I mean, they spelled the name wrong. I don't know why they're capitalizing the B like it's my full name. However, that's very cool that they were able to get me that quickly. All right, so 25. So that's the new record. If you beat 25, let me know. But I, I guess bada bing, bada boom. Sometimes you just, your popularity is just soaring. So I'll take it. Very cool. Higher, lower, the goal of this game is to figure out whether or not the search on the right has higher or lower searches comparatively. So Google is probably higher. Okay, it's not. So I'd, I'd lose right there, right? So we'd play it again, and here we go. So Manu's Island or Tattoo Artist, like more people are probably looking up Tattoo Artist because they want to know, oh, Tattoo Artist in my area. Apparently it's the same exact thing, but they're going to give me the win. Snickers, right, like a very popular candy is going to be higher. Okay, 301,000. Engagement rings. Think about everybody gets married for the most part. You will probably be two one day, and you're going to look up engagement rings. So I'd say higher, and I'd be right. Five times more searches. DuckDuckGo. So I think this is a web browser like Google Chrome maybe, but either way, a lot of people probably use it, and I was right. 2.7 million. Ford. Car. Don't know how many people are looking it up. There's a lot of car brands, not as many as the Chrome browser, so I'm going to say lower, and I'd be wrong. So that's the game. All right, so now I'm going to speed run this real quick and see how far I can get. Kite surfing, lower than iTunes. Who's still looking up iTunes? iTunes shouldn't exist anymore. Big Bang Theory, higher, but it shouldn't be. Mid-show. Good. 2.2 million. Tony Blair, don't know who that is, so I'm going to go lower. Okay, head of the World Economic Forum. That's why I don't care about him. Gymnastics, higher. International sport, right? 550,000, makes a lot of sense. Beauty, higher. Don't know what people are looking up if they just type in beauty, but nonetheless, it's higher. Six feet under, lower. Don't know what it is. I guess it's like relating to death. 135, all blocks. It looks like a rugby team. I'm going to go ahead and say higher. Rugby's pretty international. I was right. They look Australian, perhaps. Microsoft, higher. Right? Massive tech company worth however many trillion dollars. Women rights, lower. Right? We don't like women's rights. Not like that. It's just like we don't search it that often. Singapore, higher. 1.83 million. Okay, that's not that much for a country. Breast implants, lower. But, you know, a good amount of people are searching that up because they want to obviously get that. Joe Frazier, popular boxer, kind of passes prime in terms of relevancy, but I'm still going to say higher because he's still like an all-time athlete. And I'd be wrong. Okay, final one. Uh, lower. Good. Don't know who he is. Looks like a soccer player. Child labor. Lower. We don't care. As in, we don't search it up. Okay, Green Bay Packers. Higher. Although Aaron Rodgers is gone, it's probably going to go dip, dip lower now. Bricklayer. Lower. 
Okay, love the skill and trade jobs. Larry Bird, higher. White guy, good at basketball, very nice. Uh, don't know who this is, but lower. Who is this? All right, I'm done with this. All right, next up we have if the moon were only one pixel. Ooh, right, so here we go. There's the sun. Am I able to scroll faster? No, I can't. Okay, so that's the sun. And now here we go. There's some crazy stuff. That was about 10 million kilometers that I just scrolled. All right. I know, it's crazy. I know, this is crazy. But wait for it. Something crazy is about to happen. I click backspace. I click backspace. Why did I do it? I click backspace. All right, so this is where the real fun is to be had. So I played a game called Drench before, and a lot of you guys sent me DMs saying you beat my score. And so I wanted to see if I improved on it since then. I feel like I've learned a lot and I'm able to actually beat it. So let's see how I do. I'm gonna color pink first, and then I wanna do mint, cause you wanna color it the same as that. We'll go red, we'll go purple, and then we're gonna go, uh, I think yellow works here, pink, green, and then I think another yellow. Now I feel like we're killing it. Red, let's get a mint in there. And now I'm gonna go purple. Now we're gonna go green. Come on, you know I'm gonna do this, guys. Please, do you trust me or do you not trust me? Do you trust me to watch your children? Do you trust me to teach you something? Do you trust me to win this game right now? Because I think I'm well positioned. I don't wanna say it too early, but I think I think something magical is happening right now. I think I'm about to do it. This will be the first time I ever do it. You're watching it. First time I've ever done this before. Let's go. Has anybody beaten it in less moves? So that only took me 28 moves and I got it done. Beautiful. All right, so this is not so much a game, but people told me to test this. This is my internet speed. And I was told I had really fast internet speed. And so I wanna run it and I want you guys to tell me if you have faster internet speed than me. So here we go. Hopefully I don't reveal anything. So I'm sitting at around 475 megabits per second for my download speed even higher, it looks like 400, and, okay, 470. And then my upload speed is somewhat similar. We're looking at around probably 440, they're gonna put it at if I had to guess. 457. All right, so that's the latency is six milliseconds server New York. I don't know if that's good or bad. I was told it's good. I think anything like upwards of like two, 300 is considered good. It tells me I should be able to handle multiple devices. Yeah, it's not really a game, but I just, I guess I'm flexing my internet on you guys, which isn't meant to be a flex. It's more so meant to show you what I got working. I got some good stuff working apparently. All right, so now it's time for Human Benchmark. If you don't know this website, actually the first thing I ever did to go viral in this internet landscape is something called the sequential memory test. And what this is, is basically like you have to remember the pattern. So it'll tell you like, Boom, boom, and then you have to do, oh, boom, boom. And then it gives you the next level, right? Boom, 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 and then you do boom, boom, boom. So do you get how this goes? I'm not gonna do the entire thing. What I will do is I will probably either insert a clip from the video that I made, or I will just link you directly to the video if you really wanna watch like the full uh, scope of what went on. But I got to level, I think 60 perhaps? I think it was level 60. And yeah, I'm obviously not gonna play up to that but you can check it out. But that's the first time I ever went viral and then Daily Dose of Internet, it's this YouTube channel. They reached out to me and they were like, hey, can I use your clip and put it on my channel? At the time I'm like, oh yeah, sure. So I just, I gave it to them and then they uploaded it and I was able to like turn it into some other content. Bada bing, bada boom, GeoGuessr, da da da. And now bam, now you're watching this video. So that's how life works. So I owe this website a little bit of love, and so I'm gonna check out these other tests to see if I'm good compared to other humans. So let me know if you guys are also good. So let's see my reaction time first. When the red box turns green, click as quickly as you can. All right, nobody's gonna beat me here. Ah! 208 milliseconds. Okay, it's not that good. 180, okay. The goal is to break 150. I messed up, got a little penalty there. Oh, my, I just didn't click. My fingers just are too heavy. I've got too much muscle on my fingers. 168, let's go. Nobody's beating that. 168? Okay, it's on the bottom of the bell curve. I have to get below 150 though. 
So close. I'm cheating now, my bad. I don't know what it is. Why can't I wait for it properly? 201, I'm so bad at this. Lightning McQueen. 164, I'm getting so close. Come on, faster, faster, speed, value it. Speed, 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 we need speed. That's not speed, that's slow, that's depressing, that's bad, that's slug, that's molasses. That's worse, penalty, penalty kick, free kick, Ronaldo. 177, come on, 150, 150, 150, I can do it. It's easy, it's easy, it's clean. 171, give me 150. I know I could do it, somebody's getting it, who's getting it? These young, these young grasshoppers, am I an old head? My reaction time's out the window? What if I, no looker. No looker gets me 190. I'm better off my eyes closed. I guess I'm just totally inept and bad at this game. Come on, Sam. Come on, come on, come on. You're better than this. Ah, I'm itchy. Hey, okay, no more itching. Because if I get this, then I can make an entire short that says I have the fastest reaction time in the world. If I get under 150, the short's coming. You guys heard it here first. There's going to be an entire short dedicated to it. Oh! <laughs> I was like one second away from clicking on it. Oh my god, I'm not clicking. What's wrong with me? I can't click. Oh, that's embarrassing. 840, okay. I think it's my best yet. Can I beat it? 154, I know I could beat it. Oh, don't save score. No, that's gross. Don't save that. Don't save that. It's disgusting. Yes, let's go. Finally. One hundred and thirty nine milliseconds. So the computer adds 10 to 50 milliseconds. So this is really as fast as you can get. Granted, I was really trying to get it. So I was kind of cheating a little bit. We'll take it. World record holder officially humanbenchmark.com reaction time. Let me know if you beat 139. Be honest. Try your best to beat it. My actual best is 164. It looks like but 139 if I'm trying to time it. Cool. All right, next up, we have the aim trainer. Hit 30 targets as fast as you can. Okay, I'm going to be bad at this. Let me clear out the Cadbury bar on my desk. Sorry, Mr. Beast. I just think it's better. All right. Reminds me of that Click Olympics I did, which was pretty fun. Dun, 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 dun. 434. Is that good? Let's just go one more time for good measure, and I'm actually going to try now. 418, okay. I'm, I'm totally happy with that. I think 418, we lock it in. Don't think a lot of people are going to beat that. 418 looks like it's on the left side of the bell curve, so pretty solid. Pretty solid. 3, 2, 1. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house down. The wolf was greedy, and he tried to catch both pigs at once but he was too greedy did i just really flub all that all right so typing test how many words per minute can you type i think it's good to get let's see what's good all right so ideally i want to get more than 60 i think i can get 70 here we go restart that in restart this Indeed. Oh, I got, I thought we were, okay, so we just keep going. Okay, so it looks like my words per minute is around 70 something by the time that I stopped, which we'll take, cool. All right, and then last but not least, we are going to run. Let's see uh, the longest number I can remember. All right, so one, one, two, zero, two, zero. So you have to break it down by stuff. So it's like Kobe, right? Kobe's eight, then 24. That's how you could remember that. Although three digits is pretty easy. 8061, it's still within my like short term budget. So 8061 is cake. All right, next up. 1867. Nine, you know, 1867. Nine, so it's like two separate thoughts you're having in your head all at once, right? 616, 
201. 616 201. So you gotta like dance a little, right? 616 201. And you can just keep carrying on that type of like excitement. 454 1771. 454 1771. And then bam, right? Year of our Lord. Uh, 163 277. Happy birthday. 163 277. 163 277. And I said happy birthday because I know somebody that just turned 60. So in my head, it's like, oh, cool. Next up. 889059 187-889059 187-889059 187-889059 See? Cool. All right, I'm, I'm not trying to like use all my brain power though because I have to still do more in this video. So let's see how far. 15737 463 15737 463 15767 463 I'm so dumb. Next. All right, so this website is genuinely one of the coolest things out there. So it's called noclip.website. And so basically what you can do is I can, for instance, go to like Mario Kart Wii over here and I could go to, oh, I wanna go to Luigi Circuit. And then it populates Luigi Circuit. And you could like move around freely and just go along the track. So it just like creates a Google Earth image of any video game map you could think of. So watch. Let's go Wii Sports Resort. You wanna just go through Woohoo Island, okay? So it's loading Woohoo Island, here we go. And you're able to effectively walk around the entire resort. You know, so I don't know where they play like archery and stuff, but it's somewhere up here, I think. So if you ever wanna like uncover the mysteries of certain video game maps, there you have it. Uh, okay, what about Grand Theft Auto when I go to North Point Mall? All right, I've never played this game, but tell me if this looks familiar. Does this look good? Looks like some GTA map. Here's the mall. What is it, infinite? A gash, wow, that's definitely a gap ripoff, but we'll take it. Tar Brush Cafe, probably Starbucks. Oh, see, it's a pretty cool place. So you could definitely like, go around here and have some fun. It's called noclip.website. All right, so this is called Are You Psychic? Take this test to find out. So you have to guess the cards. If you get more than 50% correct, then it shows you have some basic psychic ability. Predict orange or green? Green. Yep, of course. Next up, orange. Yep. Next up, orange. Yep. Next up, green. Yep. Next up, green. Yep. Next up, orange. Yep. Next up, orange. I was killing it. I was killing it. Green. Yep. Still kind of killing it. And then finally, orange. Come on. Come on, Sam. Orange. Good. Stick with orange. It's another orange. We know it. Fine. One more, green, good. And I think you want green again. Yeah, you did, right? You did. What are you whispering to me, orange? Sure, yeah, I got you, absolutely. Oh, you want another one? Oh, sorry, I misheard you, I misheard you. This one you want. I, I, yeah, it's just this wall of communication, there we go, yeah. I, I knew that's what you wanted, and this one green? Oh no, orange you said? Oh, this one green, okay. And then two more, so you said you want green, green to end it? Oh, you want orange, green to end. what they say I was, medium? I was killing it, guy. I was eight for two and I just started sliding. All right, you know what they say? When in doubt, we're going to play Flapper Bird. There was like this Mr. Beast thing during COVID where it was like Carl Bird. It was like Flappy Carl. It was one of the worst things I've ever played in my life and it was so annoying. I don't know who ended up winning that. First of all, why am I so bad? Let's let's just acknowledge that real quick. Um, but second off, at least I'm not playing Carl Bird. That just for some reason was rubbing me the wrong way. All right. This game got harder over time, so I'm not playing this. Uh, what do you do? Oh, you jump? Oh, I, I saw somebody on uh, YouTube Shorts playing this. So oh, what, I just have to jump over these little barriers? Okay, easy enough. And what, I just like... Are there checkpoints? It's just basically like Mario, so it's like I'm playing Mario. Did I just kill it? I beat it. Huh? Wait, why am I restarting? What is the logic there? Why am I restarting? I was just killing it. So I don't jump. What is this? Now all of a sudden I have like a spaceship, so I'm playing Flappy Bird again. 
I went from not wanting to play Flappy Bird and now I'm effectively playing Flappy Bird again. Am I doing good? I can't tell if I'm doing good or I'm just like an average player. It feels like I'm playing pretty good. I'm laser focused right now. 681. Oh, my eyes hurt so much. Just all the color changes, all the pixelation. All right, enough of that. Enough of that. I'm not playing you anymore. I'm done with you. I'm sorry. All right, so this is now higher, lower, but it's with YouTuber subscriber counts. So Sony, SAB, or Fail Army. They have 70 million subscribers. Fail Army certainly has less. 16 million, though. That's a pretty big channel. Trap Nation definitely has less. 30 million? What is Trap Nation? All right, Pink Fong or Matt Stoney. Pink Fong is the people who made Baby Shark, so they definitely have more. Yeah, 59 million. BuzzFeed has less. They have a lot, but yeah, it's less. 20 million. Ultra Records, I'm going to go lower. More. Okay, how come everybody has diamond play buttons nowadays? Uh, Markiplier, Kids Diana. Kids Diana has more. A lot more. 90, 90.7. Hype labels, lower. Don't even know what they are. They have 67 million. Smosh has lower. Still a lot, 25 million. Sony SAB, we just saw they're higher. They have 70. Okay, let's see if I'm on here. Hacksmith Industries, lower. Okay, 12.8. Dream, higher. I think he has like 20. Oh, 31 million. Apple has less. Okay, 16. They have their diamond play button. Sniper Wolf has more. She has like 32. 32.5. Movie clips, lower. 57 million. What? Okay, Kids Diana more than Nigahiga. Good. Ali A, less. Okay, he's not even at 20 mil. Kind of sad. Eminem has more. 53 million subscribers. Sniper Wolf has less. We know she has 32.5 mil. Alan Becker, don't know who that is. Going to go lower. Okay, congrats. He's almost at 20. TED Talk, I'm going to go higher. Okay, slightly higher. 21.7. Laser Beam has more? Ah, oh, slightly less. Okay. I'm also going to check out a game called Cookie Clicker because everybody brings this up 24-7. I don't know what it is. I promise I've never heard of this before. Cookie Clicker. Do I literally just click and make cookies? Oh, and then every... Oh, okay. So I see. So I keep clicking the cookies and then I could buy things. So we're almost getting a cookie per second. This is a good game that teaches you about investment. It's like Bloons Tower Defense effectively. We should probably buy Grandma. Is she achievable? She's somebody we could just buy like that. All right, let's see what she does. Hopefully she helps us like make more cookies. A nice grandma to bake more cookies. Okay, I mean, that's great, but... Oh, she ups it. Okay, I see. Because now we're getting two cookies per second. So I'm going to buy one more grandma. And now we get three cookies per second. See, I'm not even clicking, and now I'm collecting a bunch of cookies. This feels like such a waste of time, but it's actually kind of fun. I think that's the issue. I'm having too much fun here. So once I get to around 350 is when I'm going to purchase my next grandma. Buy a grandma. Now there's seven cookies per second, which means I'm getting 420 cookies per minute. I'll get one more. I'll get one more grandma. It's just so I get 10 per second. Uh, I'm going to get another. Gra is a grandma a waste of money or should I get a farm? Let's buy a farm. Farm is coming next. Grows cookie plants from cookie seeds. Okay. I, I think that was good. 37 cookies per second is pretty wild. So yeah, I'd say that was a pretty good investment. So it's just gonna take a little bit of time. A lot of clicks, a lot of time, but that's no problem. We've been here before. We're certainly ready to do this. We have grandmas on deck. We have three cookie farms halfway to the pink. The pink's gonna revolutionize the cookie clicking game. 3,000, about 60% there. So let's keep it chugging here. Sip of water, doing this manual labor. All right, almost there, about 85%. So the grammars are twice as efficient. So you're telling me we're about to jump to about 100 cookies per second. In three, two, one, 92 cookies per second. Insanity. And we're gonna buy grandmas and cursors left and right. Cursors is actually a waste of money. So let's see, each additional grandma at this point is gonna add to us 104, we jump to 108. So we're adding four clicks per second every time we add a grandma. But grandmas are becoming more expensive, which we should definitely note. Could get a farm. We could also get ambidextrous. Farms are twice as... Oh, if we can get the farms twice as efficient, forget about it. So I think we invest into this green one, which is going to cost us 11,000 cookies. 
Might as well wait it out, right? I'm just so addicted. I just want to... Should I let it get the best of me? Should I buy two more farms or what? Or should I just wait? I would say our best bet... Uh, I'm halfway there. I'm going to just wait. It's so hard not to buy, though. It's really hard. It's taking everything in me not to buy. Clicking feels like a waste, though. I don't think clicking's really helping us anymore. Like, most of the damage is just being done on the back end. Alright, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. We're gonna have enough money to buy the green... What does that call it? You call it a, a, a hoe. That's gonna make us twice as efficient. In three, two, one. Green hoe activated. 140 cookies per second. Oh, we're going rampant. We could buy another farm even just like that. You know what, let's buy a... Uh, yeah, no, we invested in the farm, so let's buy a farm first. And then I'll go ahead and buy a cursor. 156. Okay, so a cursor is doing nothing for us. It's not really worth getting anymore. What is worth getting is the farms, because the farms are going absolutely hay. Alright, so 157 gets us to 173. Yeah, this was the best investment we could have possibly done. Uh, we need 55,000 in order to make things... Wait, what is a mine? Mines out cookie dough and chocolate chip. For $12,000, should we buy a mine? Is that a waste of money or no? Uh, you know, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a farm. I'm gonna get two farms. So now we're at 200 cookies per second. Insanity. So every minute we're gonna gain 12,000 cookies. And that's assuming I don't even click. Alright, so I'm gonna get two more farms and then we'll be operating at close to maybe like 250 cookies per second there's a lot of cookies 220 and this gets us to 237 okay so not as crazy as i thought but still pretty crazy grandma's only adding four so grandma's not super helpful anymore cursor is doing nothing still you know i think it's worth still maxing out our grandmas so let's try and get us to Maybe we want 25 grandmas, give or take. I think 25 grandmas will put us in a good position. We have 18 grandmas as we speak. We are making cookies. Farm, is that going to add that much value to us? Grandma. 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 Grandma's getting us close to 300. 300 cookies per second, grandma's getting us there. So what is the cursor adding? 282. We only go up one with each cursor. So the cursor's not doing too much more for us. Grandma, though, on the other hand, definitely is. All right, we'll keep it at a round number, so I'm not going to purchase any more cursors. I'm completely done with the cursors. Now it's all about getting more farms and more grandmas. All right, we are officially at 304 cookies per second. So every 10 seconds now, we're able to buy a grandma. But I have my eyes set on the mine. So the mine is going to cost us 12,000, which is honestly pretty lightweight. All right, so 12,000 cookies. Let's see what this mine does for us. There's also some like 1.4 million. Who has bought this? All right, here we go. Mine. We jumped by 50 cookies per second, which is an extra 600 per minute. Which I think is worth it. I think that was worth it for sure. I could buy another mine. Yeah, let's wait. I'm going to get one more mine. All right. Purchased. Oh, we're jumping up. Every time I buy a mine, we're buying like 50 extra cookies per second, which is just absurd. I just want to get us to a round number, though, because it's kind of throwing me off. There we go. 404. All right. So it does let me buy this. The mouse and cursor are twice as efficient. I don't know if it's worth buying, though. I feel like my money is best spent at this point. You know, what? let's just buy it. We'll just upgrade. Oh, so now it's eight cookies every time I click. Okay. You know what? That's kind of worth it. Now, do I want more mines or do I want more farms? That's the question everybody should be asking themselves right now. I think I'm going to buy a mine because mines have proven to add on like 50 cookies per second, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a mine. 465. Oh my gosh, we're going crazy. All right. After playing this for about an hour now, I'm officially starting to lose my sanity. So once I buy this factory, I'm going to see what the per second cookies jumps to, and then I'm going to bounce. I'm unable to do this any longer. They better jump me to a thousand cookies per second, or else this wasn't worth it. We're going to find out in three, two, 
one. It wasn't worth it. I knew it wasn't going to be worth it. I only gained 200 cookies. All right. All right, guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content, make sure to click here or click here. Otherwise, subscribe on your way out, and I will see you next time. Peace.